guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. This is going to be the 15 rules, the top 15 rules, guys, that you need to have during negotiations. This is going to be a three-part series. In this series one, I'm going to give you the first five. Let's kill it. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm going to show you if you want to be the best closer and negotiator in the world, we're going to give you the 15 rules that are non-negotiable. You got to follow these 15. If you do, you'll be deadly. Rule number one is going to be this. It's really simple. Always be seated when closing. Take a pen, take a piece of paper right now. Start taking some notes and anything that I say that resonates with you, write it down. So in the automotive space, the first 90% of the time we're outside on the lot building value making sure the customer falls in love with us telling them about what maybe the deal might look like in order to do business with us right now the last 10 percent of the time we're inside in a seated position collecting hundred percent of the money during the negotiations now whatever it is you do for a living and whatever it is you sell I can assure you that you may speak about a proposal while standing but when you're ready to seal the deal you're always gonna be sitting you always want to take it to a seated position understand this if I'm sitting and a customer stands up that customer is planning on exiting the deal I'm not gonna stand I'm gonna stay seated it's really important that you understand that we close in our seat we sell on our feet we close on our seat rule number two is gonna be always make eye contact this is extremely important in a seated position everything that you're closing on as you're presenting the numbers as your customers talking to you never break eye eye contact it shows that you're the trusted advisor that you're the expert make sure you keep your eye contact strong do you want the people to believe that you're the person that they can deal with to make this deal right if you do keep the eye contact strong I see so many salespeople while they're negotiating during a deal what they'll do is they'll do something like this so mr. customer you know kind of what I was thinking and you'll look away why did you look away for a second when you look away it breaks the connection which is extremely important the strongest thing you could have during negotiation is trust and report and people trust Trust people who look at them in the eyes keep that rapport strong guys don't look away it makes the customer think that you're thinking of what to say keep the eye contact strong rule number three this is gonna be a good one this will save a lot of your lives out there know how to use humor to relieve pressure let me tell you what I mean customers come in guys spending a lot of money it is a little bit serious sometimes your goal is to not match their seriousness one of the key things that I use is being a top closer one of the best closers in the country is to be a little quirky be a little funny laugh a little bit right look yes it is a lot of money but at the end of the day are you gonna get real serious with them and let them get really serious about the money that they're spending or do you want them to feel like you know what the person that I'm with while I'm spending the money however much it is I'm having fun and I really don't feel the pressure notice I use the word to relieve pressure right you got to think about this they're nervous a lot of people are looking for reasons and excuses why they should pass go why they should spend the money it's your job to give it to them and make it fun write that down right now make it fun take control be a little quirky have a little humor and by the way if you're not funny go buy a little joke book right learn how to tell a couple little jokes while people are buying stuff so they can laugh ha 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 and then they buy it from you think about it these are tips and ways to be master closers relieve the pressure with a little bit of humor okay guys rule four here check this out always have an arsenal a large amount an abundance of always have an arsenal of word tracks so you don't keep repeating yourself look at this word repeating yourself don't sound like a damn parrot all right I sit there and I watch salespeople while they're negotiating a deal with the client and what they're doing is they're repeating themselves over and over which number one is annoying to just listen to heaven forbid the customer hear it but three you sound like a parrot you're just repeating and repeating and repeating having an arsenal of great closes will allow you to do a couple things number one not sound like it's your first day sound like you're the trusted advisor and sound like you know how to deal with money listen there's two types of no money in no money like I ain't got no money I don't know about money like I don't know anything about it because I have no money and then I know money which means I can help you talk about it and work your way through it because I'm really familiar with it and by the way I sell a lot of cars here at my dealership I sell a lot of whatever it is that you sell stop repeating yourself sound like you're really familiar with everything that it is that you're talking about look if they go left right always agree with them and then be willing to take them back right again have an arsenal of closes in word track if you'll train with me you'll always learn that I talk about word tracks hundreds and hundreds of word tracks so as you're going through the dealings with the customer the customer is at peace because they never hear the same thing
thing twice. It's like magical words flowing out of your mouth like a river. It's just nice and smooth all the way to the close, okay? So always make sure that you have an arsenal of word tracks that you can use during negotiating. Number five is gonna be always know that you'll come to an agreement. This is extremely important. As I'm negotiating with you, if you look at my posture, you can tell that I know that we're gonna come to an agreement. I've never doubted the deal. I don't doubt you and I don't doubt myself. I don't think we ever end up at a, at a dead end. And I see a lot of salespeople, they lose hope in the customer can see that they don't feel like there's an agreement that's gonna be came to. Look, I don't care what your manager says and I don't care what the customer says. You always know that there's an agreement you're gonna come to. Never give up on the deal. So rule number five will be always know that there's an agreement you're gonna come to. Never lose that faith and always have that believability in your eyes and they need to be able to see it as well. All right, so check it out. If you guys are watching this video and you wanna become a master closer and be one of the best closers in the world, you can always reach out to me. Tell me exactly what it is that you struggle with and I'll help you. My cell phone number, 918-210-0254. Guys, just shoot me a text message. Andy, I'm struggling with this. What would you do? 918-210-0254, guys. Also remember, be on the lookout for tomorrow. Part two is gonna be dropping and the day after we got part three. Crush it and kill it. <laughs>